The relevant question when evaluating a given person is not, does that person have the right value system? The relevant question is, does that person have any value system? And the reason it is the relevant question, and it's not a moral question, okay? The reason it is the relevant question is that if somebody has no values, then that person is a wimp. And the reason is simply that if you have values, that means that you believe there to be a way that things really should be, and you therefore believe that things simply must be fought for. You see reality as being fundamentally incoherent if things are not that way. And if that is your outlook, you are going to be pretty tough. You are going to fight. You will fight hard. Are, you, are your values the right ones? Uh, is your conception of how reality should be the right one? Well, surely it's wrong in many ways, whatever that even means. But that's not what is relevant. The, the specific identities of the values you have are really just foils. What is relevant is that you value something, and that completely changes the equation. When you have two people, and I'm going to be a misogynist here because that is what I am, I am a misogynist. It's just a fact. But when you have two men, who each of whom believes in something, each of whom has a value system, they will fight each other when they conflict. They will, if each sees the other as being a a a somebody that can potentially be vanquished then it is worth that person's while to engage the other. So as long as defeat is not a completely foregone conclusion, as long as there's a reasonable chance of victory, each person will see it as worth his while to engage. And each person will be right, because supposing that there is an incoherence or perceived incoherence in reality, it really is worth one's while unless one knows that one's doing so is an exercise in futility, it, it is worth one's while to try to iron out that wrinkle. So when you have people who have values, they will fight unless there is really very little realistic chance of upholding those values in the fight. When you have people who have no values, they very quickly start to see the pos they, 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 they quickly start to see the possibility of a fight as being itself a defeat. And that is why you have people who are a bunch of wimps now. So, and then you might think, well, look, uh, I think Christianity is totally ludicrous, and sh what you seem to be saying is that back when people were Christians, they were tough. No, I, I, Christianity is a, totally absurd. I think actually a major problem is that Christianity, which is this very, very, very strange and unintelligible, and to the extent that it is intelligible, bad belief system, for lack of a better word, Christianity ended up being kind of commandeering the tendency that people have, that they should have, to have values. And so, basically, a person's having values ended up being predicated or conditionalized on his, to some extent, being Christian. And that was that was fatally injurious to many good things. Um, and I think to the extent that people really did have merit, it's because they had non-Christian values, which might have been kind of vehicularized. Uh, that's an ugly term, but you know, you get the idea, by Christianity. In any case, um, so, no, what, what happened now is that, uh, under, is that people have been told that values are prejudices, which which is true, but which is only a, a, which is not really the relevant part of the story, and therefore they don't really have any values. Therefore, they've just become risk averse because when you have no values, nothing is worth fighting for. Nothing is worth anything, but certainly nothing is worth fighting for. Nothing is worth doing anything about. There's when you have no values, nothing is worth enduring unless there's an absolute certainty of conquest at the end of the day. So you do get people who are just kind of wimps. It's just a fact. 
And it's not, uh, I mean, it, it may be that, you know, there's been, there's been downbreeding or some such, that may be the case. I, I don't, but even if that it has been the case, which is questionable, I, I don't think that's really the operative factor. It's just uh, people who don't have values are weak. They're wimps. They, 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 there's, there is, in fact, no objective reason for them to endure anything unless they know that by doing, doing so, they will be guaranteed a, a, uh, a pleasurable and enjoyable outcome, an outcome that they see as positive. And uh, that makes them wimps. I mean, just the fact. I mean, they are right to be wimps, given that they value nothing. And um, and the other relevant fact is that, you know, are liberal values bad? No, liberal values, well, any set of values is fine, right? I mean, liberal values are good, okay? Uh, but but when people, but but in this day and age, so-called liberal values are in absentia. I mean, they're simply not there. Now, what is going on is that lip service to largely defunct liberal values is used as a way of uh, uh, green lighting boundless narcissism. Uh, and then, you know, these very, very weak kind of fake right-wingers, you know, step into the take take the bait every time and and uh, and uh, give credence to this otherwise you know totally obvious paper tiger of faux liberalism that's going on. So no, no, it's it's not that liberal values are wrong. Liberal values are fine, right? I mean, all, any given set of values is fine. I mean, any any if somebody believes that there is something. That there is a better that there is that, that, that things could be better and that this better possible reality is worth fighting for that that's really the relevant thing i mean some value systems are better than others but the really relevant question is whether somebody has a value system now and until that condition condition is met uh, all other questions are of no importance and a liberal set of values in the relevant sense of the word liberal is, is just not a, a set of values. It's a non-set of values. Uh, the problem is that some people actually do have kind of liberal sets of values, and those people tend to be very naive about what other self-described liberals really believe, which is not, as it turns out, anything. You get the idea, and um, I have to get back to work. <laughs>